A Navy helicopter crew spotted it yesterday afternoon, a mature sperm whale dead on the reef, head facing out, tail facing inland. The high surf and high tide looks like it deposited on the reef yesterday afternoon or morning, and uh, it's probably going to move in a little bit if high surf continues out there over the next couple of days. Guam Department of Agriculture biologist Brent uh, Tibbetts actually, examined the carcass yesterday and says it appears to have died a few days ago in the sea before washing up on the Jonia Reef yesterday. It's a very large male, excuse me, a very large whale, probably a male, I uh, guess is about 30 feet long. Uh, it was in relatively good shape. There's a small smell of decomposition, but nothing too strong. Uh, the skin was in shape. There were shark bites taken out of the, the fin, the flukes, as well as on the body. So it's probably been out for a few days anyway, but not too much longer than that, that it's been dead. Sperm whales are normally dark colored, gray or black, but much of this whale appears pink. Tibbet says that's because of the abrasion caused by the reef. The skin was abraded off or something. There are parts of it where the skin is still intact and that's kind of a black or gray coating. Where that was abraded off probably by being rolled over the reef, that was rubbed away and just the bare blubber underneath is what's exposed. You're seeing blubber. Blubber is, is, has a lot of blood vessels in it, it's, so it's, it's very vascular, so that's kind of the pink, is just kind of the, the blood vessels you're seeing in that. Guam lies along the migration route for sperm whales in the western Pacific. The migration typically occurs between January and May, and sometimes, says Tibbetts, some whales don't make it. Samples will be taken to try to find out why it died. One thing we're going to do is our enforcement officers are going to remove the lower jaw. Uh, it's, <clears throat> it's tempting for people to want to try to get the teeth or parts of it. Uh, a couple of things I'd like to remind people that it is illegal to take marine mammal parts and especially a sperm whale, which this is, this is an endangered species, so it is illegal to take any parts from it. Also, we are going to try to go out Saturday and look at the stomach contents. We're going to open it up, maybe take some tissue samples to, to send off for possible disease diagnosis if that were the cause of death and get some tissue for DNA analysis, see if we can find which population of sperm whales it belongs to. And Tibbetts cautions island residents not to go out on the reef to look at the carcass because it could be infected with diseases that can be transmitted to humans. Marine mammals can't carry disease that can be transmitted to humans, so it can be a health risk to go out and try to touch it or interact with it as well. So I like to remind people, there. don't go out there and touch it. Take, stay on shore, take pictures of it if you can get out there. Also last night when we went out, the water wasn't very deep, but there's a very strong current running across the reef flat there. It could be dangerous to get, just to get out to it as well. So I'd like to please do not try to go out and, and see, you know, bring some binoculars and look from the cliffside or something, don't try to get out to it. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.